Coffee the fuck, give it a train. How many times you niggas wanna see I bust one shot like mine? Little nigga know he shiny flow, he but that stinking never show. Run it up in the attic, and my dope still on the stove. Nigga be born in that slow, shot him in the face, I'm like, yeah. How many more your niggas gonna die for fucking with my cash? No, so don't fuck with me. I said, don't fuck with me. Those of y'all who, um, who, who caught the one of the previous stories and I'm telling y'all about my homie Lil Paco, how East Point police, you know, killed him and stuff like that, man. Um man, I have a cousin, man, my my first cousin, you know, her mom and my mama's sisters. Um she had, you know, Paco Jr. You no, know, she you know, like I say, he had a son when that happened to him. You know what I'm saying? And then, you no know, years later, she started dating my cousin, that is. She started dating a, another guy that I know from the hood, which was a younger guy as well. You know, her age. You know, younger than me, though. But he had all came up, grew up, been a nice young man himself. And his name was Lil Two, like Lil Paco. Lil Two. And my cousin and Two is dating, you know, at this time. And then she ended up having a child by Two, you know. And just like any... You know, couple they go through their little ups and downs. Um, you know, I don't got a call from two saying, man, your cousin this, you know, that, that. I, got, I don't got a call from a cousin say, hey, man, look to your friend. I know he y'all partner, whatever, this, 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 that. And then I got called from or seen them together and they just great together, having a good time or just, you know, living life. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, things happen. Um, to homies in the street and even though they in the street and doing what they doing um the thing that happened to them you know how they pass away or you no know, tragic thing it has nothing to do with you no know, the sell of crack or the sell of cocaine you know what i'm saying but it all ties itself into itself because of like you know the area that you in you know, it ties into this is a crack area, you know, so you might not be, excuse me, selling crack and got robbed and got shot and died like some of my friends have, but the affiliation of the streets, the affiliation of the streets and the, and, and the drugs and the game and all that, it tends to be able to touch you in other ways, you know what I'm saying, and some of those ways cause know you to die you know and then and then like i said two case man um you no know, two got a you know little sister older sister i can't remember Solana, what's up baby i can't remember which one of y'all were the oldest now i think two now i think Solana, i don't know you had to tell me to come in but um his mama you know we love you sarah i was you know hilltop she came stayed on the hilltop you know he was part of the hilltop at one point in their life you know what i'm saying they come from the flatbed the old apartments but as time moved time moved they moved around and at one point they ended up on the hilltop where we at so we seen them every day and was with them every day and things of that nature you know what i'm saying so we had a part of um him his mama his little brother his sister we had a part of them that came, became a part of our life and things that we'll never forget the times we hung out and things that we did on the hilltop. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, at this time, you know, College Park had done, 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 you know, I won't say this burst because, you know, my homies and stuff still out there, but they had done flipped over so many times. You have so many different faces and new faces and then you have people that done left that you ain't never seen in a long time. You know what I'm saying? And, and even though the hilltop, I don't know, they, they tore down the projects um, the, the my 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 hood, um, the the College Park project still stand, and everybody migrated over there. You know what I'm saying? And then right on the edge of College Park project, right or like two streets over, it's the East Point line. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, the two he had the best of both worlds. 
because he had dealings over there in East Point where he could run, do little stuff, bam, 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 handle his bed, bam, 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 make some money. And then he had College Park, his own team, bam, 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 bam. So he was going back and forth. And his name, he had rank on his name where he could go to a different little spots around the two cities and stuff, man. You know, he would respect that. I have to give him that right there. Um, at this time, I think he was like probably staying or trapping or doing something like that in a hotel, more on the south side, down 29 and 4900 block, Red Oak area. What's up to all my Red Oak partners out there and all my 4900 block, Delano Road. He was he was doing little, you know, things on the south side of town, man, and had like friends that he was delivering to and, you know, hollering it down in the 4900 block, Hickory Park and stuff like that, man. This night was one of those nights that, you know, he had went down there to holler at some of his people or whatever. So, on the way out of those apartments, when you get to the edge of the street to be on 29, uh, Delano Road, that is, you, know, you, you come to a stop sign. You know, you go left on 29, Highway 29, and go back toward College Park, going toward Atlanta. Or you can go to the right on 29, it's going toward East Point, Fabron, Noonan, and things of that nature, Palmetto, things of that nature right there. Well, at this time when Tootie's leaving, I think he's on his way back to the hotel one of the little trail spots, so he may stay there. I'm not sure. And he's unaware that there's a high-speed chase that's taking place. Y'all remember my friend Marcus I told y'all about? Similar story. There's a high-speed ch high speed chase that's taking place as he's leaving. You know, and I think about the timing of things, like two walking to the car, he looking back at them, I'm going to holler at you tomorrow, y'all, okay, just hit my phone, bro, you know how he talk, then he get in the car, he crank the car, and, and way on the other side of town, we talk about Cobb County, you know, uh, past Atlanta, for those who don't know, further north, Cobb County is is um, taking on a high-speed chase that um, left from their county and their city, and I've crossed over into Atlanta. And they coming down through Atlanta, coming further south toward us down in College Park. You know what I'm saying? So, two get in his car, he pull off, you know, probably to the radio, you know, and no tell just the regular human thing that we do when we get in the car. And he comes to that stop sign, unaware that that high speed chase that started in Cobb County that should have been called off. Should have been called off. I think the guy was in a stolen car. It should have been called off. Or... Uh, or uh, Cobb County should have stopped and let Atlanta take over. And then when they get to East Point or get to College Park, you pull the county and College Park take over. Because they are familiar with the area. You are not. And with that said, we all had tragic behind this right here, man. And I mean tragic, man. You know, like I said, they should have called, they should have called it off. Instead, the Cobb County police officer. Is way down here, miles away from his district. And he's in an area where he don't know. He's not forgetting me with these curves, these turns, and he don't know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? But instead, he continued to chase. As my partner at that stop sign, as he's coming out, making the left, the right, I can't remember which one they said, but he pulled out from that stop sign. And when he pulled out from that stop sign, that police car flying down after the stolen car hit him and flipped the car two or three times over to the grass area by the railroad tracks that's on 29, man, and killed him. And of course, what they do, they're going to charge the guy who was in the stolen car with his murder, but the cop killed him. It was things that the cop could have done too. Not just that guy. It was things that the cops could have done too that my friend would be still living right now. And my cousin, remember, she done had a, 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 a her first son, father, ran through and killed by East Point. Then, then five to seven years later, she have a child by him and he's also killed by a police officer in a, 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 a car accident. Both of her children's father. Man, and both of these guys are my little friends, little partners from the hood. It ain't just all about the streets, man. It's other people could do things 
and, 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 and cause your death. But but they be in, you know, officers, they, be in, they have these shields on them where they don't get charged with it. But they could have done something that was different too to help the situation. Instead, we lose two friends by the police. Man, it's crazy, man. And I think, I think on the first one, they got to you know they won a big lawsuit. The fellow, my little cousin, my cousin, who who's um, the mother of um, PJ Jr., they got they got a big lawsuit on that one. And I hope two family and my cousin them get some for Cobb County them for this right here, man. Because it ain't no money on no life. I don't care who take it. Thank y'all for tuning in to another great episode of Underground Source TV with your host, TV and film producer Dietrich Knox, OG Black Boy. 3700, call it stand up. Nigga, 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 Nigga wanna fuck my hoe How many times I got you Terry I'm married to my club But I had a little side bitch That side bitch didn't know the bro And that same little side bitch I had to let that bitch go Never forget the things I said You'll end up dead or in the bed Go fuck around with OG You get that break go to your head So don't fuck with me I said don't fuck with me Nigga wanna Nigga wanna Nigga wanna Nigga wanna they wanna fuck with me, they fuck with me, they fuck with the best.